fresh as the whip I came in rock Welcome to the 11th edition of Danger Zone Wrestling Attitude. I am your commentator, Antoine Brinson, as always, and I am joined by a special guest from DIW, Mr. J. O. Attic. Why, thank you, Antoine. I'm uh, happy to be here tonight so I can rip on some uh, people that's on my show. This could be fun. Well, <laughs> right, well, let's get to the action. Let's tell everybody what we have in store for tonight. First off, we will have Kikuma, the Samoan Death Machine, taking on Machine Gun Josh Mason. We'll have Bison taking on Double X in singles action. We'll have Chris Bates and Colin Kennedy teaming up to take on Julius Jones and Phoenix. And we will have Alex Ryan facing Devin Storm for the Heritage Championship. And in our main event, Sean Stevens will go one-on-one -on -one with the problem, Kobe Vincent. That's good. Oh. Uh -huh. Hey, well, ladies and gentlemen, here is our new... Danger Zone Wrestling Man in Charge, Jay Pratt. Now, I was about to say that was going to be an amazing main event coming up tonight, and then this thing can walk out here and ruin the moment. Well, uh, I guess you're not too fond of our new, uh, you know, no, record. Hell no. AJ Young did an amazing job. I mean, look at the pay per view last, oh, sorry, CPV last month, okay? And then this guy, this Jay Crack, somehow gets a job. Despite no qualification whatsoever. How? Boys and girls of DCW, I am J Crack and welcome. Welcome to the new regime. Welcome to the new J Crack era. And I am here. I am the head nigga in charge. And what I say goes. Now, a lot of you have questions. And I have the answers. But you know what? I'm not gonna answer them yet. But first, gifts. All right, boys and girls, listen up. Since I'm in charge now, since I have power in this company, all right, I'm going to abuse it now. Now, my first call is this. Not too long ago, I talked to DIW. Yes, DIW. They, they still exist, believe it or not. And I'm guessing some of you don't know who they are. It's okay. Don't worry. You'll have to. DIW and DZW will join forces to have a super show. The British Invasion. Huh? You like that, right? Oh, but guess what? Not just one super show. Another one with another car. Yes. DZW and DCA. DZW is going to accept the changes challenge and we're going to work together with DCA to have an awesome super show. Yeah, you like that, right? See, again, again, I'm a nice guy. I give good shit. All right, I'm like that rich uncle you used to have. Except I won't molest you. All right. Now, last night awakened the new college initiative. initiative. Sorry, kids. Yeah, I said it a lot. <sighs> Those young guys, these new guys, last night really impressed us. Am I right? Julius Jones, Kenshin Takayashi, and even though he lost, Matt Shaw had great matches. All did their best, and I'm not going to lie, I'm impressed, and I'll tell you right now. Those three guys, I'm telling you, bright futures. <clears throat> Now, I've been negotiating with other talents to come into DZW. Yes, other talents. You know, something that other dumbass AJ Young can do at all. I'm bringing new talents. Alright, I'm going to make DZW the top car in this business. 
And, and of course, you know, backstage, the, the big guys better pay me more for doing that now, right? Right? All right, bosses? Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> All right. Because of Sean Stevens picking up the win at the Awaken Tag Team match, he gets a shot at the DZW World Title against AJ Young at Undeniable. That's right. AJ Young, getting your ass kicked. <clears throat> all right, all right. So far, we get a good start here. We get a good start. And you know what? How about another gift? How about a new championship, huh? That's right. Boys and girls, starting today, I took it upon myself with my hard earned money to create a no limits championship. All right, with the new talent, there's gonna be a new division. It's not some cruiserweight division or a junior heavy division. No. It's going to be the no limits division. Why? Because we're unique. Okay? So you shut the fuck up. <clears throat> Alright. Now, we're going to have an event to declare the first ever DZW no limits champion. And it's going to be called the Night of Flights. There's going to be a competitor, one-on-one, -on -one, and the final match will be, well, the final match of the tournament, okay, Just in case you know that. The final match of the tournament will be a two out of three falls match. So I guarantee you, Night of Flight will be off the fucking chain. Who the hell do you think you are, J-Crack? Not only did you steal my job, but you're out here to all these people I didn't hire new talent. I created the new car initiative. I should not have been fired from my job in the first place. And of all people, they hired you? They don't know your back history like I do. The management, the board of directors, obviously didn't do their back history in car wrestling. Because I've seen you take numerous chair shots to the head. You're basically the hardcore car wrestling icon. I've seen you go through tables. I've seen you take chair shots to the head. Which makes me realize that you're not all 100% in the mind, Jay Craig. In fact, you're crazy. Why they put you in a position of management, I will never know. But you know what? It's whatever. I should still be the owner. I should not be forced to sell my stock to the board of directors. And I should still be the director of wrestling operations. Jay Craig. What happened to you and me? I thought that you and I were friends. I thought that we were 100% cool. You know, and for those of you who don't know, I was a J-Crack guy. But you know what? I'm upset that considering that, uh, considering our friendship, that you would come up and take my job from me. What kind of heartless bastard are you? And then, you want to talk about John Stevens getting a title shot? Sean Stevens, get his title shot against me. Let me let me give a little history lesson in case you haven't been watching the show. Sean Stevens may have beaten me in a battle royal on the first episode of Attitude to win that DCW championship. But on the second episode, guess who that title came back to? It came back to AJ Young. Sean Stevens is nothing but a no-good loser. And he will lose against me. I don't want to go up against losers, Jay. I want to go up against the very best. And putting me against Sean Stevens, it defeats the purpose of going up against the winner. You think that Sean Stevens is going to last two seconds against me? Well, you're wrong. Management's wrong for taking my job and giving it to a no, no good hardcore wrestling spot monkey like you. AJ, look, look, all right, I still love you, but I'm not gonna lie, you really bitch a lot, you really do, buddy. God damn, my ears hurt. <clears throat> all right, you know what, you're so rude to me, AJ, I still love you, I still love you, but guess what, since you're so rude, since you're gonna be a little bitch about things, you and your little boy toy, your little bitch boy, um, Eddie Roy, guess what, the both of you are banned 
for the Kobe Vincent and the Sean Sears match tonight. Oh, oh, and guess what? Guess what? Your match with Sean? Guess what? To make sure no one interferes, to make sure no one ruins the match, it's going to be in a steel cage match. <laughs> and another thing, another thing, AJ, the next time you talk to me, choose your words very carefully. Or else, well, I'm not going to fire you, but let's just say your run here at DCW, it's not going to be fun. So, yeah, peace. Well, ladies and gentlemen, multiple announcements from Jay Crack. Both the wall, AJ Young's match against Sean Stevens for the DZW Championship is going to be in a steel cage. Can't danger one of your best times like that. Look at this biased GM, who the hell he's going to be. Well, ladies and gentlemen, so many announcements to come. So many announcements just announced by Jay Crack, but we will be right back and we will be taking a quick commercial break. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back from commercial break, and out comes the Samoan Destiny Nakuma. Uh, Jay, what do you think about these announcements made by our new general manager, Jay Craig? Okay, okay, if I'm going to be honest, if I'm going to be honest, they were shit. Absolutely oh. terrible. I mean, first of all, let's break down the whole AJ, Sean Stevens announcement. AJ Young is completely right. Sean Stevens does not deserve to be in a world title match ever again. He lost AJ Young fair and square. He should not be there, okay? Yeah, you know, no, no, no interference at all. There's, there's no interference. Second of all, why do we need to bring in some vanilla midgets in order to make some new fair super cool flying title? No. The Heritage title is brilliant. AJ Young thought that in, remember? We don't need a No Limits title. Well, I mean, according to Jay Grant, we do, and I'm very excited for Night of Flight. And what do you think about the Super Show announcements? Okay, first of all, I do not seem to the very end of my show. <laughs> Thank you very much. But uh, even I wasn't aware of it, so I have no idea what's going on there. I have to talk to Jay Grant off this event. Um, DC, uh, you know, you're going to have to pass over that note and show me what the other moment show is. But that's why. Uh, the, the, the name of the show is DCA. DCA, that's it. Yeah. You uh, know, DCA, never heard of it, don't you? Well, well, DCA, it's an up-and-coming call show. It deserves a lot more subscribers, a lot more you know, publicity than it currently has right now. 
you know, I talked to the owner before, and, you know, decided to, you know, talk. Apparently, Jay Brack got in contact with it and decided to have this super show. You know, nothing about uh, DCA, more about this machine gun guy. You know, a stupid nickname, by the way. But he is a great talent, and he's the one that deserves more publicity, not some poorly called DCA, you know? Well, that is your opinion, dude. I mean, for you to be a competent with DIW and be out of the loop about your own show. Okay, so, sorry if nobody tells me anything anymore. You know, I was kind of kicked in the head. Remember that? Yeah. Well, well you know, so, you, seem, you seem to be fine now. Um, uh, well, you see, I have short term memory loss. I can't remember what this uh, Jason Mason name is. J Jason Mason. Josh Mason, first of all. And, uh, it, was, it, it, was that just a large plot to, like, work in his compensation or something? Do, 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 do. Moving on. Uh,. You know, uh, Mason here. Oh, there's a headbutt. Uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure it's wise to be headbutting a Samoa. I mean, they are renowned for... He's doing it again. They are renowned for their hard head. Well, apparently so! Oh my god! Swing! Sidewalk! Slam! Oh, yeah. Josh Mason. You know, have you actually checked what Akuma's passport says? Because I'm pretty sure he's Japanese. He's not Japanese, he's Samoan. Uh, Although he has competed in Japan, he's competed in Samoa, his home, uh, his homeland, and he's been involved in multiple death matches. He's basically a hardcore expert. That's why they call him the Samoan King of Death Matches, the Samoan Death Machine. Well, with a name like Akuma, I'm not entirely sure that Samoan tag is a uh, factual. Oh wait a minute! Akuma just crushing Josh Mason against the announce table. He I was about to say, instead of following up, he started taunting, but there you go. Oh, you know, kind of just threw him into the steel steps. And now, Phil's yeah. getting the crowd fired up. Oh, wait a minute, cost him the stake. Yeah, he's not having any of it. Oh, there's a stop to the midsection. But Josh Mason looking to, you know, come back after what was a, uh, a you know, upset loss to Kenshi Takayashi at Awaken. He got pinned via a roll up. And he went on to attack Kenshin after the match that day. Because he was showing everybody that that little win by Takayashi, that was a fluke. He could only win with a roll-up. He couldn't pin him for the one 2 three. he couldn't make him tap. As Mason going to show here tonight, he's going to beat up his compatriot. Oh, okay. Well, you know. Uh, Josh Mason in control of this matchup. And Akuma hasn't had much on the way of momentum. Oh my god, what a powerbomb. <laughs> See, that's how you get matches, that's how you get victories, my bad, not by rolling up people up. Thank you. Well, Josh Mason might have just had that match won with the power bomb, but he could have kicked out of two. And ladies and no. gentlemen, uh, allow me to tell you our referee for this contest is Larry Smith. What a generic white name. Take up with Larry Smith. They, they take it up with Mama Smith. Oh, I did last night. Okay. Well... Ladies and gentlemen, we don't condone, uh, you know, Jail Maddox, what, what he says. That, you know, these, these are only his views and his views only that are being expressed right now. And hey, wait a minute, Akuma <laughs> with a move. Goes through with Senzon. Because he hit him with a beautiful move, uh, totally a beautiful move. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Akuma has Mason. Two kicks, three kicks, and oh, wait a minute, Got bam. A nicely executed kick, gotta give him that. Akuma going on the top of the kick. Oh. Oh, he tried to go for the well twice and it did not work. Mason had that scouted. Oh, um, wait, but I think Mason missing though. entirely, but how oh, about that knee? Exactly. Even when he botches, he makes up for it. This is the kind of talent we're dealing with here. Oh, there's that left on close on that he was looking for. Look, look at the size difference. I don't think we've mentioned that so far. Look at the Kuma. Looks like a fucking shrimp. A small fry compared to Josh Mason. Well, Akuma has had a lot of victories in deathmatch wrestling. Yeah, you keep bringing up the deathmatch. When was the last time he actually won a decent match here in uh, DZW? Uh... Well, see... Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you know, ref, you do not count this. do no, kick out! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! <laughs> <laughs> I guess you want a decent match now! Oh, <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this matchup is Akuma. 
Got to make the ball dig into the roll-up yet again for the second time in a row. Got to the ball dig into the roll-up. I think that goal was to be a demon. Because from losing twice to a roll-up, the Japanese guys are just displaced. If you're not Japanese, he's the ball. Sure, whatever you say. You know, he's a Samoan definitely, not the Japanese definitely. Kuma, that's a Japanese. Well, take it out with Mama Kuma. That actually no, never mind. Anyway. I already did that. Let's take a look at the replay from this matchup. Interesting action going on. Josh Mason with the rather athletic DVT. Akuma went for this twice. The first time he hit it, the second time he did not. And there's that left arm maneuver. And this is what this, this is what Josh Mason felt make this two ladies together. And your winner of this matchup is Akuma. Well, Akuma picked up the win over the middle opponent. You have to give him that, even though it was a fluke win, but what can we do? I wouldn't necessarily consider it a fluke. Wait a minute! See, he's, he's getting exactly what he deserves. Wait a minute! How does he deserve this? John Spacey for the second time in a row being a sore loser. He took the cheap way out by going for a roll-up instead of, you know, getting a submission win. I mean, putting his shoulders down on that for free. Oh my goodness, this is just, this is despicable on the part of Josh Mason. I cannot believe that he would go this well. When okay. you cheat, you get attacked. Simple as. That's how this, that's how this world works, you know? Yeah, because Josh Mason goes, oh no, put that down. Put that down, Josh Mason. Come on, this isn't even necessary. This is clearly not. Josh Mason swinging from the fences. Oh! I don't think it's to that uh, head bump from the Kuma. Oh, it's more devastating picking up the chair. There we go, Mason. Come on. Oh, oh yeah. God. There you go. Hit him right in that Samoan head of it. Cracking him straight in the face. My no, no, Josh, don't, 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 no, no. Not no. done. No, oh, my God. Well right done, man. Edge of the chair. He knows how to get things done, unlike that little. Samoan Boston there. Yeah. Wait, wait. Wait, here goes Kenshin Takayashi and Mason Bales. No, it's a tactical retreat. Tactical retreat. Okay. He doesn't need to fight him, so he won't. Simple. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting word through my headset that we gotta go to a quick vignette. Those of you who do not know me here in DZW, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Stephen Maverick, and I'm just going to start you off with a little bit of something that you all should be aware of. You all, as well as myself, have a list of rights here in America, for all you Americans out there. They're also called the Amendments. Now. I'm not going to dwell on every single one of them in order, because God knows that none of you probably even know in order what your rights are. And quite frankly, it doesn't matter because they all are moot to begin with, which I'll get to in a second. But let me give you a couple of examples. We obviously have the obvious one, the freedom of speech. We can say whatever we want, however we want, and it don't matter how stupid or how intelligent it comes out. We have the right to bear arms. We're allowed to protect ourselves with weaponry if the government ever decides to turn against us. We have the right to remain silent if we choose to. We have the right to privacy. In other words, the government or any sort of FBI police agent cannot break into your house and search you without a warrant. You have the right to be by yourself without anybody invading in your privacy. You also have the right to an impartial jury, which means there is no bias put into place. You also have the right to a speedy trial. In other words, we're not going to drag out too much of your time. We just want to get things going, right? Right? <clears throat> but let's get something straight here. Let's get something straight here about our wonderful country that we all love and behold. You see, America is all built on a lie. It is. It's all built on a lie, and all the people that infest into this country really do not follow their amendment rights. Specifically, the freedom of speech, because it's the most obvious one. Why is it that Within a country where we are supposed to be allowed to say what we want, when we want, however we want it, 
that there's always somebody out there that wants to ban what we say. Think about that. Why is it that a lot of people who have a certain opinion that does not agree with the, the man, why is it that they are thwarted out of authority? Why? Why is that? You want to know why? Because this country is built upon a lie. The right to bear arms. There's now this heavy talk about getting, get, taking away what you have been destined since 1776, which is the right to own a rifle to protect you and your loved ones because some crazy nut job went out and caused some sort of murder with a gun. Never mind the fact that 20 victims at Sandy Hook was taken away. Meanwhile, in the Oklahoma bombing, there was at least a good, oh, I don't know, 160 people killed, and there was not one gun used to kill each and every one of those victims. It's a little bit of a weird paradox, but you know what? It's another way of trying to take away one of your rights. Look at the right to privacy. You don't have the right to privacy. Anytime you make a phone call, guess what's going on? You are being recorded. You're being recorded, and you are already a criminal. You're a criminal without any evidence. Why? Because someday, somewhere, you might just explode and you might just spill your secrets on the phone. The right to remain silent? Well, that's what they want you to have. The only right is to remain silent and just take away any sort of an opinion that you have that differs you from everybody else, you know. Individualism doesn't exist anymore. Speedy trial? Yeah, forget about it. There are trials that last about two years after the initial crime or the initial arrest is made. <laughs> and then the impartial jury. Really? An impartial jury? When was the last time you really saw a legitimate impartial jury? So, we are built on a lie. And I'm here to, you know, do a little thing what I like to call a revolution. The way to start it off is to do what I do best, and that is out-wrestle my opponent and uh, out-talk my opponent. Look, I'm not going to say I am the most handsome individual in the world. I'm not. But that's not why I'm here. I'm not here to impress you with my looks. I'm here to impress you and get you to actually think. I'm not here to even change your opinion on things. I'm here to challenge you and your opinion. I'm here to challenge your mindset and maybe take your expressive viewpoints and flip them on its side. Why go Democrat? Why go Republican? Why even go Libertarian or Green Tea Party? Green Tea Party. <laughs> We have some weird names for these fucking political, uh, parties, if you will. I don't even know why we call them parties anymore. They're just a bunch of, uh, elitist groups that believe that they are better than you. And that's the other thing, too, that I want to get out of the way. The presidents. Whenever we try to elect a president, we always have to watch what they say, because anything that they say can and will be used against them down the line. But guess what? What gets me is that everybody, everybody thinks that these people are out for your best interest, and when they hear guys like, just say for example, Mitt Romney and Barack Obama, they listen to these two individuals, and they'll end up saying, oh yeah, Mitt Romney, he really impressed me, or Barack Obama, he's on the right track. When really, all those two people are, are used car salesmen with fake smiles, fake teeth, fake everything about them, looking you in the eye, looking down upon you, trying to tell you what you need. And they stick out your hand, they smile, and then, as soon as you turn away, they're counting your fingers on their hands. Okay, let's see how many fingers we got today. I'm not here to do that. I may be a jerk-off to some of you just by saying some very controversial things about our beloved country, red, white, and blue. The fact is, I'm not here to impress you with an opinion that may agree with yours. Because 
uh, supposedly, this country is founded upon that, when really, it's not really. Let's ban words like bossy, for example. Yeah, that's freedom of speech. I'm here to show the world that it's a lie. And I'm here to expose the lie. I'm also here to expose the lies here in DZW. DZW, you haven't met a real top star until you see Stephen Maverick. That's my name, and the truth will be revealed. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Interesting words from Steve Maverick, but here comes John Stevens. I'm not coming on his words, so I will divulge into a rant, which you will never hear the likes of again. It's not worth it. So we have uh, Sean Stevens, a man who's not worthy being in the world title match coming out of the ring right now. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with that. Uh, if I remember correctly, I don't think Sean Stevens has lost a match since he lost the DCW Championship. Yeah, and you know, you just said since he lost the DCW Championship. He lost the DCW Championship, therefore does not deserve another title match for the foreseeable future. Well, considering the fact that he never got his rematch clause due to AJ Young. No shenanigans, and he had to actually earn his way back there by getting the winning ball against the two master sales in the main event of Awaken. It's been a long time, a really long time coming. But at Awaken, I did what I said I was going to do. I was going to beat those two Neanderthals and get my title shot. And I stand before you today, the new number one contender for the DZW Championship. But, there's one problem. After my match, not only did Bison leave me high and dry, but I got attacked by those two masked men. And you know what, I don't know what their problem is. I don't know what is going to be between me and them going forward. But right now, I'm focused on one thing and one thing only. And that is becoming the first two-time DZW champion. AJ, you've spent a long time ducking me. First, you cost me my title. And then you didn't even bother to give me a rematch. Not that I was expecting you to do so. But considering that I have a rematch clause, I'm guaranteed a DZW Championship rematch at some point in time. But no, AJ, you didn't want to do that. You made me have to fight the hard way to get my rematch. But damn it, I got my rematch, AJ. And according to Jay Crack, that match is now a steel cage, which means that Kobe Vincent can't get involved. Eddie Roy can't get involved. It's just going to be me and you in that steel cage. AJ, you don't know how bad I want this. You don't know how bad I need this. But at Undeniable, you're going to find out how real Sean Stevens is. Because when I'm holding that DZW Championship once again, AJ, you thought that Losing your job as director of wrestling operations was bad. You'll have no idea the pain it'll feel like losing the DZW championship. So AJ, in three weeks at Undeniable, your time's up. And I will become DZW champion once again. And wait a minute, wait a minute. Two masked men from Awaken. They aren't even yeah. supposed to be here. Doesn't matter. They came to do us a favor and shut this man up. They're not even supposed to be here. They, if they won the match, they would get DZW contracts, but they lost. So why are they even here? Well, you know, they're doing us a public service. You know, a public yeah. service. But wait a minute. One of them took their mask off. And, wait a minute. That's so close. Oh no. Oh, not him. Anybody but him. 
No, let's all the way with the other guys on masking. Oh no, oh, please. No, it's gonna be. Not this. Not this. Whoa, come on, it's oh, right, Carol. Oh, no. No. Even, no. 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 Even I can't. I'm torn. I want to support this, but I can't because it's them. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't even know what to think. But I, I'm being told that we gotta go to another commercial break. We have to to get Johnson some medical attention. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bart Sheldon, your DZW interviewer, and my guest at this time is Bison. Bison, a lot of questions coming out of Awaken. Why didn't you help Sean Stevens when he was getting attacked? Why is there a lot of questioning going around as to why I didn't help Sean Stevens? First off, I told Sean when I declared myself as his partner that it was going to be from bell to bell only. Truth be told, I don't like Sean Stevens. Last time I was in the ring with him, I ended up suffering bruised ribs, and people expect me to jump to his defense immediately. Look, I helped him out last week on Attitude. I helped him out on Awaken, but we won the match. I didn't get the title shot. So, as far as I'm concerned, my job is done. Whatever happened to Sean, that's on Sean. That's none of my business. Because Bison does what Bison wants. And Bison is worried about one thing. And that's Bison. So you know what, Bart? To all these people in the arena tonight who think that I turned my back on Sean Stevens, you're dead wrong. I was never friends with Sean Stevens. I decided to lend a helping hand because I got tired of seeing them run roughshod over attitude week after week after week. But you know what? All that's over. I didn't get the winning fall, so I'm not the number one contender. But that doesn't mean that I can't become number one contender by taking out everyone. That's in Bison's way. So from this point on, I'm on a mission. I'm setting off on a path. And that path will lead me to the DZW Championship. And I'm starting tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, strong words from Bison. So much, to, so much that has just happened over the span of a few minutes. <laughs> I mean, Brian Carroll and Sean Walsh were the mass attackers the whole time. Okay, we need to pause that. I, 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 I don't understand, like, this whole time, it was Ryan Kelly and Sean Walsh, I mean, they're well accomplished, but, I mean, why would they target Sean Stevens? I just, I, I don't understand what's going on, but, nonetheless, Bison thinks he's looking to become BCW champion, and he's starting that road to the title tonight with Double X, but Double X is no slouch. He's a very accomplished, uh, accomplished striking specialist, and Double X is one that is Japanese, not Kikuma. Well, you know, at least you can, uh, at least you've seen his passport, I might say, on a quote unquote Samoa. You win Samoan, you win sex, you Samoan. So you can check the rabies? I mean, I would if I were you. Would. Anyway, Double X ready for competition. Again, my reference for the matchup is Larry Smith. And 
slice it. That's definite size advantage over double legs. A considerable size advantage, but... You see, size advantage isn't always everything. <laughs> Double X can use his speed and his intelligence, if he has it, of course, to outmaneuver young Bison, sir. And Bison is rather quick for his size. I will give him that. Well, true, he, he kind of ran down to the ramp after giving that uh, promo somehow. Must have been pretty. Like, you used him bolt quick to do that. Okay, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, just, what, what do you think? Ryan Carroll and Sean Walsh the whole time being See, the like, master sailors. Like I said, I wanted to I wanted to enjoy the beat down of Sean Stevens, but then it had to turn out that it was those two egotistical bastards, those dicks, okay? That they had to worm their way into this company and they failed. But they're still here, apparently, because you know, that's how things work. I mean, ever, ever since something approved, they've been targeting Sean Stevens. And, I mean, it's been attack after attack after attack. Bison came to help Sean Stevens out. And, I mean, Sean Stevens got the winning call at Awaken, granting him a DZW Championship match against AJ Young. Bison seems pretty upset that he didn't get the winning call. But well, of course he was, because Sean Stevens went behind his back and picked up the victory without turning Bison. What kind of friend is that? What kind of ally is that? Uh, well, I mean... It's a DZW Championship match that's on the line. Sean Stevens wants it just as bad as Bison. Bison, he will get his opportunity someday, I believe that. But wait, oh, wait a minute. Bison, Two, three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. Hey, okay, you can stop nine. now. Eight. Eight. Oh, my God. <laughs> and Double Ten X is false. Yeah, Double X is false. Oh, no. He's back up. He's a little shaken, but he's back up. Oh, you would be if you were hit by that. Of course, I could survive that, obviously. Oh, oh wait a minute. Double X is missing by a mile with that. I think he was uh, a bit disorientated by those clubbing blows there. Quite possibly. But oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's Bison doing? Oh, th look at the strength of Bison. Oh, my God! Treat him like a rag doll. That's some inhuman strength there. Wait. Two. Double X surprisingly picking out a two. And oh, wait a minute. Catching Bison off guard. Double X has some strikes on his own right, and there's a neck breaker. See, Double X is not going to go down without a fight. And I'll wait, go for a roll up. The lightning strike twice tonight. Good. Bison knows how to kick out roll ups, unlike somebody, Jason. Uh, Jason? Uh, I, I believe his name is Josh. J. Oh. <laughs> anyway, Double X with that kick there. Beautifully executed. Now go for the pin, kick out at two. You know, you should change his name so I'm not wrong. Okay, that's what I should do. Jason Mason, huh? Yeah, Jason Mason, you know, has a ring to it. Just like uh, the ringing inside Double X's head right now. Oh, quite possibly. Double X is a little. Oh, my oh. God! Jesus. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, uh, no, no. Oh, no. my God! No! What a human strength! By Bison. This man does it, he is not human at all, God. Absolutely dominate. But you you might as well just pull the bell now, is it? Oh just, my god! Oh. God, just hearing him. Oh my god, double legs looks like he is down and out. Hey, double leg, if I were you, just stay down, please. Uh, Bison seems to be picking him up anyway. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my god. The arena just shook. And oh, it's about to say once oh. again. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bison dissecting double X. And wait a minute. It's like he's pulling everything out of his arsenal just to show off double X here tonight. Bison, oh. ready up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I even enjoy this. I swear. Oh my god. Like, it's about the structure, you talk about brutality, you're seeing it right here. Oh my goodness. He's oh, oh no, no. He's 100% done already, he doesn't need to, he does not need oh, God. Neck broken. Now I'll give you spot of the nose, it's right there ladies and gentlemen. But oh, oh. Come on, oh no, Bison, let's go. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute, he wants to make double X tap. He wants to make double X tap, what's he going to do it? 
This is just some savagery in here. This, oh my god. Why is it destroying Double H? Here tonight, Bison looks very serious about wanting the DCW Championship. And, uh, you know, letting off some speed like they're awakened, but we might have to get a doctor for Double X. Yeah, yeah we, we need a doctor out here for Double X. We, seriously, hold on a second. Let me just uh, cool him down here. Yeah, we need a, a paramedic and a morphine, a lot of morphine. Yeah, great. Thanks. Right. You know, how, how can you hire a man like Bryson who's willing to destroy him, a family man in double X here? Well, I mean, Bryce, I mean, nobody was expecting this. I mean, double X, as you can see, got quite some offense against Bison, but you see the inhuman strength that did this was really done right here. Like, there was a turning point, and the turning point was when double X entered the break. That's where everything started to go wrong for him. It's quite possibly, ladies and gentlemen, but your winner of the match is Bison. And um, I'm getting through my headset that we have to cut to one of our Night of Flight participants in just a few seconds. And so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, without further ado, uh, I'm going to turn it over to, you know, people in the back. Switch it over to one of our Night of Flight participants. <laughs> DZW. Danger Zone Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen of DZW, you are hearing right now from greatness personified. This is dignified Drew Cutler, and I am here to conquer the DZW No Limits Division. You see, Mr. J. Crack brought me in to have me compete in this No Limits division because they saw, they saw in my eyes that I am the future of this company and that I am the one that can headline the No Limits division. And you know what? That's what I'm doing. Because you see, Dignified Drew Cutler is here for one reason. He's here because he's just too damn rich to be anywhere else and I needed that lucrative contract baby and now that that's in my pockets and that's in my bank account I am here to destroy everybody in this ring because when I go to the no limits division <laughs> since there's no limits I can do anything I can do anything to earn myself a bigger raise on my contract. Add more zeros to it. And more zeros. And more zeros. Until I am the richest fucking man in the world. Because there's no one that's more wealthy than dignified Drew Cutler. And if you want to know why I will at night of flight win the No Limits Championship. It's simple. Because I am better than everyone else. And if I'm not. I'll buy my way to the top because that is truly what dignified means D Z W Well ladies and gentlemen I'm not quite sure if that's what dignified means but nonetheless here comes Lance Alistair you, you, wouldn't even, you wouldn't even know what dignified was to hit you or anything like that Well anyway Lance Alistair coming out here, and he has a lot of explaining to do. Ladies and gentlemen, if you did not see Awaken, allow me a recap. What happened was Michael Stone was challenging for the DZW Heritage Championship, the final of the Heritage Championship tournament. It was Michael Stone versus Paul Wrestling's Grand Natural, Alex O'Ryan. And Michael Stone team had the match won, but for whatever reason, Lance Alistair showed up on the ramp to distract Michael Stone and from there it was all said and done. Alistair Wright took advantage and Lance Alistair basically screwed Michael Stone out of the Heritage Championship. No, Michael Stone screwed himself. If you're in a title match, you do not look at the entrance ramp even if the Queen of England herself was there, okay? You concentrate on the match and Michael Stone didn't do that, therefore he was not worthy of being the first Heritage Champion. Well, I mean, you would know something about the Queen of England, wouldn't you? Yes, I would actually. I met her the other day. She's actually quite nice, you know. Especially downstairs. Well, anyway, this is a family show despite multiple, uh, you know, uh, uh, multiple vulgarities. 
Nick's press in this show. But you know, anyway, uh, Lance okay. Alistair ready to talk, ready to tell the world why he's targeting Michael Stone. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, what's going on here, ladies and gentlemen? Wait, 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 wait a minute, what the? Damn, right the face, super kick. Did he just, uh, just vulgar display here by Michael Stone? What the hell? Allowing him to speak. No etiquette. No etiquette. Ladies and gentlemen, I just, I don't understand. Lance Alistair couldn't even get a word in before he got kicked right in the face by Michael Stone. Looks like Lance Alistair won't be explaining himself here tonight. Doesn't look like Michael Stone that wants an explanation. He seems very pissed. But ladies and gentlemen, again, we must go to commercial break. But this is what you will be seeing when we get back. Crazy eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and we are ready for some tag team match. Here oh, comes oh, Colin Kennedy. No, 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 no. Can I, can I just take a break now? Please. Just have a break. Another one? <laughs> we can't take one. I mean, there, there's a little bit of time that we have to have in between these breaks. But, but it's, it's Colin Kennedy. Yeah, Colin Kennedy, very versatile, very agile. Uh, Came out on the losing end against Julius Jones at Awaken. And his crazy eyes was a formidable competitor, I'm not just crazy. He's not crazy eyes. Anyway, Chris Page coming out. It's Chris Page. He's had I mean he's had an okay run with DZW so far, but Chris Page's number one problem, he hasn't really stood out necessarily. Oh look, he's got a cowboy hat. I like this guy ready. Uh, you know, a cowboy's got to stick together. Yeah, cowboys are um, we could, um, maybe. We do now. Well, got to rustle up those cowboys. I mean, cows. I mean, jimmies. I mean, anyway. Uh, well, um, <laughs> as Neil Maddy continues to shoot himself in the foot with his words, Chris Page looks ready for tag team action as they will be taking on him. Julius Jones and Phoenix. Last time, anyway, last time we saw uh, Chris Page, he was attacked by Phoenix following a matchup, you know, completely uncalled for. I saw Brett Fortune came to his aid, but Phoenix bailed. And this is a man who had a very impressive CPV debut at Awaken. This man is such a magnificent young talent. You're going to be seeing a lot of crazy eyes in up months and years here in DZW. Don't be surprised if he's holding that DZW championship in the near future. I guarantee to you. Okay, where's this crazy eyes thing coming from? I don't understand. It'll give it about five, ten seconds. You'll see. I won't even have to mention when it happens. You'll see. I, I, I don't understand. Like, it's not crazy. It really shows eyes are perfectly normal. No, no, no. no. Yes, yeah, I, I don't understand. Why, why was he looking, talking about a man's eyes first off? Well, you know. Look at them. See? Look at that! Oh my goodness. He's not uh, well, staring into our man's soul. eyes. He has some medical condition that causes him to stare into our soul. I don't like it. You, you know, it doesn't take from his athletic prowess, it's just. Crazy eyes. He's slapping his ass. Gotta do that as well. Anyway, while while Jay O'Matic continues to look into a man's eyes, 
Phoenix will be making his way out to the ring. You dare try and attack on me. It's not my fault if they're hypnotic. If you're infatuated with another man's eyes, I can't blame you. I mean, I mean, we, we here at DCW accept all people of all shapes and sizes. I was going to get married once and somebody stole my girlfriend. Name another name. Does she have crazy eyes too? Oh, she used to scratch my back a lot when we were uh, in coitus. As it were. Okay, what part of we have a family audience despite both of those Gary's that violate that? Uh, yeah, we have a family audience. You have a family audience, but your uh, commission is Jake Um. Um. Yeah! You can't talk now! <laughs> okay, well, Jake Frack, I mean, he does quite a good job thus far. I mean, he's announced not in flight, he's announced. Super Show, he's announced that uh, AJ Young versus Sean Stevens, if he even makes it to Undeniable after that attack, will be a steel cage match, and if Sean Stevens is able to make it, he's such a knife. Jesus, hey, fools. I mean, if he's Ooh. even able to make it to the main event tonight against Kobe Vincent, AJ Young and Eddie Roy are banned from ringside. Kobe, do you think Kobe Vincent needs burn that ringside? to be somebody like Sean Stevens. Look at Kobe Vincent. He is a monster. He should have a world title around his Of course not DW Challenge because AJ Young, the brilliant AJ Young told that. But you'll see later on tonight that Kobe Vincent is one of the best superstars here in DCW. Mark my word. I mean there's no doubt about that. So far Kobe Vincent has not been pinned. He also hasn't lost on click for me yet. He's one of the few people here so far to do so I believe. Um, yeah, Kobe Vincent, 2 on uh, 2 and 0 on a flick review. He beat Devin Storm as something to prove, and he beat Travis Killings, albeit with help from Eddie Roy at Awaken. But you mean 2 and 0? I'm sorry? 2 and 0. I mean, we at DCW are believers, but I don't understand what, what relevance that has to Bo Bo Dallas is awesome, but you know. Well, you know, you can't have enough bone in Anyway. Back to the action. <laughs> as Chris Page with an amazing sunset flip. Two, I need two coming. You ain't enough, man. I need two. I'm sure that makes sense somewhere. It's not here. Really? You know, Judas Jones just trying to get a close-up there of the Cowboy Page. Cowboy Page. His name is Chris Page, but you know. Cowboy Page. Now what a kitchen sink maneuver, Chris Page tagging in Mr. Backflip Power himself, Colin Kennedy, and there's a stiff clothesline, and always for the weapon Julius Jones, who took his eye off the ball for just one second. Cheers, Jones, did Oh my god, what a sickening thud. Just, <laughs> we're going to throw him into the quarter post again there, but we had enough. We've got to give him some chance at the moment. Colin Kennedy's head must be ringing. Right now, I mean, the, the fourth, I heard that, it was just a big smack. But Colin Kennedy seems to be fighting back pretty well with the drop kick. He, he was just getting out of dodge. He has those crazy eyes locked on backflip power there. <laughs> you want to focus on, if you want to focus on another man's eyes, that is completely your business. But anyway, but he, impressive tag team maneuver about to take place from Cajun Kennedy. Cajun Kennedy is quite well as a tag team. Are these two of the team together? Um, no, I don't think that was ever going to happen yet. And wait a minute, Chris Bates is turning elbow drop. Gotta give them this, they're working together be uh, better than uh, Julius Jones and uh, Phoenix are. I mean, Julius Jones and Phoenix known already for their big egos, and consider the fact that, oh wait, Phoenix going after Colin Kennedy, and going after Chris Bates. Just going after for everybody. Crazy, actually. Anyway, Julius Jones and Phoenix have Carter Garrett in their corner. And Carter Garrett, I mean, last time we saw him, he was banned from ringside during the match. He got himself Unfairly. kicked out. Got himself kicked out. The ref just couldn't tolerate his uh, superb and Julius. And Phoenix and Jones are turning fire with that move. And oh, wait a minute. Oh, there's oh. another big splash. Go for the pinball. He has to freeze on his chest. <laughs> Look at this beautiful pinball. He knows that he's better than Paige, the cow cowboy Paige. So, you know, 
can just do things like that. I'm hoping. Oh, oh I guess the first page can do things like that because he just breathed the beast all over Julius Young's face. Probably first of all, that's disgusting. And second of all, Carly Garrett can't be too happy about that. Okay, you get your mind out of the dust, jeez. What impressive yeah. maneuver from Chris Page. He broke the pinball Julius Young. Two. You can see Garrett on the outside trying to encourage his uh, client there. Seems to be. Yep, oh, seems to be. Wait a minute, Julius Jones going after that knee. Wait, what the hell happened? Did you not see Julius Jones freaking take out Chris Page's leg? Oh my god, he's, he oh. sees red right now. He sees red, of course you would after a kick like that to your head. Not taking any of that nonsense. No, wait a minute. Julius Jones, now with the single leg cross and grab, Colin Kennedy better step in there because Julius Jones is, I mean, Julius Jones is working on Chris Page right now. Kennedy unfairly, uh, illegally getting involved in the match here. And somebody, he, the, Garrett, why the hell are you taking a part on our stable? <laughs> Garrett is living it. Oh, wait, you're punching Kennedy off the apron, but Garrett must be living I mean, we saw him do this before. Garrett is very emotionally invested in the matches. Despite not participating in it. You know, he's got to make sure his charge, Crazy Eyes, succeeds here tonight, obviously. And he gets emotionally, uh, you know, invested in what happens. Totally. And Chris Page, how's he able to stand? Just going after his leg again. See, Cowboys aren't the brightest people in the world. They don't know when to give up. Don't know when to stay down. You can see that. Just, I mean, he's still running despite, I mean, basically being on one leg. Here's the thing, after a certain point you have to think to yourself, is it worth continuing on with this match? See, he's wearing his knee braces, I'm, I'm assuming he's had some history of leg problems, and if that's the case, then this cannot be helpful for his future career. I mean, that's Julius Jones to run rampant on him like this. This does not look good for Chris Page. Wait, was Julius Jones going for it? Oh, there's a suplex! Turning around into a pin, going for the cover. Uh, two. And uh, Kennedy saves the match. Kennedy saving his partner, and Chris Page still able to land that kick despite having leg issues. I'll give him that, he is uh, putting up an impressive fight here. He's working through the pain, whether that's a good idea or not, I don't know. I guess, I mean, adrenaline must be kicking in for Chris Page, because, I mean, he, him being able to run right now after all the damage that's been taken to his leg. I mean, now, I mean, I don't understand how he's doing that. Oh, wait a minute, Phoenix yeah. getting involved and throwing him back oh, in the ring. Who's Phoenix getting involved? Page was the one that went after him. He's just defending himself. Well, I mean, is there the fact that Chris Page didn't exactly touch him? Yeah, he went outside and was about to grab it from off the apron. I saw that. Hey, wait, Chris Page, how's he going to land this? Hey, oh, come on. How he See? on that show? Just get his own back. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a wrestling match. You, you hurt people. Simple. And I'll wait oh. The just move that won him the match against Colin Kennedy. And it might win him the match against Chris Page. And yes, he it does. He does not kick out of that. Julius Jones picking up the win. And Fiat to the next, my bad. It was hardly in the match. But. I mean, Phoenix, I mean, you, you can argue whether he was hardly in the match or not, but Phoenix provided the assist essential to play the figure in this matchup. Chris Page was about to use all of what was left of his leg to press himself all the way across the ring and Phoenix just tossed him off. Dude, that's, that's very true. Yeah, Phoenix did uh, pull his weight there. Uh, he's got to give it to all three of these men, especially Garrett, you know. Give him his charge of advice he needs. I mean... I, I don't even know, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on. Uh, Phoenix is... I, I hope Chris Page is okay. <laughs> hey, wait a minute! What's this? Well, I don't see anything wrong with this. You know, Phoenix, stop it! Oh, wait a minute! Wait. Here he comes! Here he comes! Uh -oh. Brett yeah. Fortune! He has no business being out here. Brett Fortune does not belong out here tonight. This is the second time that Phoenix has went on the attack for no reason whatsoever. No reason? He won the match. He gets to do whatever the hell he wants. I mean, no. this base is already down and out to begin with. This old man with another ring. Old oh, man, he's really young. There's some premature aging going on there. Probably because he stick his nose into people's business too much. 
Well, yeah. He's just trying to find a helping hand. Now, wait a minute. Just his ego won't let him leave Phoenix alone. It's as simple as that. Red Fortune's just trying to provide a helping hand. Up. Oh, wait a minute. This doesn't look good. Hey, Red Fortune's going around to Phoenix. Going around to Julius Jones. Gee, this is uncalled for. Completely uncalled for. Red Fortune should not be out here tonight. Oh, wait a minute. Phoenix, help him. Yeah, Phoenix is trying to break it up. Wait a minute. Red Fortune going for it again. Phoenix, you just look. Help your tag team partner. Phoenix is looking on. And oh, wait a minute. There we go. Red Fortune ran right into that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Oh, head oh. to the chest. And there's a belly to belly suplex. Red Fortune taking out Julius Jones and Phoenix. This is just. This is just uncalled for, completely uncalled for. This, somebody should come out here and stop Fortune from attacking these good, honest gentlemen. Oh, but when, you know, Paige gets attacked for the second week in a row, might I add, there's no problem. Well, that's no problem. Paige lost the match, therefore he has to accept whatever Phoenix wants to do to him. God, that sounds weird. Yes, it does. You, you know what? I understand you sometimes, Jay. But anyway, oh my God! <laughs> Birdborn, you're nearly decapitating Phoenix in that goal line at all. Look at the strength. He, he's just going off. Hot oh, damn, guys. Oh my goodness. Birdborn is taking out both Phoenix and Julian Jones. Fortune is standing tall over these two men. Of course, completely uncalled for, as all these people in the crowd know. And he's celebrating for no reason. What? You attack two men from behind? Like no, no, see, they were just talking to each other, admiring their handiwork, and he's like, no, I'm gonna ruin it. Well, they started walking towards him, so... Gotta... Yep, they go blind, so... They, they were walking towards him! They, I mean, uh, that's, that's pretty confrontational. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. You know what, I don't, I really don't understand sometimes. I don't understand you. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting a word to my headset yet again. Now, I mean, there's so many talents coming into BZW, and we gotta go to another one right about this second. Hey, buddy boys! What's good in the hood? My name is Scrap Boogie. I'm one of the hottest and coolest new signees here in Danger Zone Wrestling. I'm throwing a party downstairs right now. I just came upstairs really quick. Just, just take a little two-minute break. Just to cut this little vignette for you guys. You know how many bitches downstairs that want to dance with me? And I'd be like, yo, bitches, I'm busy right now, so just fuck off. That's right. I tell all the motherfuck calls. I, I, I put the names down on the list. The wait list, bitches. You heard me? So, DZW. Again. My name is Scrap Boogie. I'm here to party, and I'm here to whip that ass! I have an old saying. Don't eat a lemon, eat a pizza! Well, Scrap Boogie, coming in. W I undeniable and this is just one of the multiple new signees uh, in the new J Crack regime. What 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 what, what, what did we just see? Um, why is it really confused? Yeah, how, how are you confused? That scrap was even funnier. What is what is scrap boogie? What is the line? I I don't know anymore. I mean I, I don't understand. I mean he hasn't even dated you yet, he already got dated with scrap boogie. What, did, hold that, hold a second. Did, did, did Orion just do what I think he just did? Did you see that? What did he do? He, he, oh, okay, if you didn't see, I'm not gonna bring it up. Because it was very vulgar. Right uh, there. Uh, I don't understand how Al was doing vulgar. But anyway, Al Ryan is the new heritage champion making history at Awaken, albeit with a uh, slight assist from Lance Allister. But Alistair Ryan is the new heritage champion, and he is ready to defend against this man. Elite is medicine. Okay, okay, that's a problem you did. Have you read the book, Elite? Uh, I have not. 
Did you buy the pita farm? Um, well, uh, I mean, this, this song isn't really like, this, this isn't really like, this is a mashup of multiple songs. Yeah, it's a mashup of all those little girls you came all after. Damn this song is not a molest. Anyway, I'm, I'm not even going to get Storm right now. Damn this Storm. He had the chance to advance to the finals of the Harrison Championship Tournament, but he was screwed out, basically. A video play uh -huh. distracting Devin Storm during the matchup, and he fell prey to Alex O'Reilly. Stop now, making excuses for these people. God, if he comes up on the time control, you ignore it. God. I mean, this is the second time that, well, actually, that was the first two times that uh, Alex O'Reilly has won, you know, with questionable tactics. Albeit not the tactics of his own. Question of tactics. See, here's the thing. He was just testing to see if these men were worthy of facing and worthy of becoming heritage champions. They failed the test. So, you know, Ryan walks out shooting. Simple. I could be completely misinterpreting that, but when have I ever done that? Multiple times. But anyway, Alex O'Ryan looks ready to defend the championship. And as, as a good champion does. This is going to be his first title defense in BZW since winning the title and this is going to be the first uh, I, I believe this is the first title match in a while on Attitude I think the last one in fact was it might have been AJ Young winning the title from Sean Stevens Say whatever you want about Orion's progress to the finals and claiming the Heritage Championship for himself but at the end of the day he is clearly a fighting champion and he's willing to face Devin Storm somebody who shouldn't even be in a Heritage Championship match on the first episode of Attitude, after he wins it, you know, can't fault him for that. Now, can you, Prince? To well, uh, it's not like Alex Ryan, you know, took it upon himself to put the match. Uh, Devin Storm was guaranteed this match from Patrick Garner, who is a member of the DZW Board of Directors, who basically orchestrated the job evaluation that AJ Young failed. I don't know that AJ Young was screwed out of. But... Oh, 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 also, who's making excuses now? Making excuses? I'm making valid points. You're the one that's making excuses. I'm sticking up for good, honest people. I'm like you. Yeah, because AJ Young is a good, honest person. Yes, he is. Look how excellently he was running the company until somebody had to go pissy and decide to remove him. Or decide to ask people their opinion on the matter. People that shouldn't even been asked. That's besides the point. We got a match going on right now. Yes. There is a storm with an elbow. So it's just a close fist elbow right there. Close fisted elbow. <laughs> yeah. Close fisted elbow. You hear yourself? Like, dude, haven't you ever heard of close fisted elbow? I've heard of that elbow. Devin's all going for the pin. That was line out of one. There's a beauty shot there. There's another one. Yeah. We got some sick flesh out of Well, you know, I can never confirm or deny. There's a one, two. Check out there by Ryan. This is fun. I like this. They're rather sick human beings, don't you know? Anything? Well, you're rather uh, excusey human being, so. Excusey. Yes, excusey. Excusey Gary Busey. There you go. He's dead now. Right. Gary Busey's still alive. Died. When? Like a month or a half ago or something. Yep. Didn't he just have the Amazon fire or something like that? I'm pretty sure he died. He's not dead. He is dead. Check it after the show. Okay, fine. I'll look up Gary Busey after the show. Anyway. Oh, what a single leg drop kick from Alex Orion. I'm sorry to Alex Orion's uh, dog, who's in the audience here tonight. Uh, sorry for talking about Gary Busey instead of your owner. It's uh, quite disgusting, isn't it? Anyway... <laughs> Alex Orion, I mean... He seems pretty upset that, you know, he, has, he, has, he isn't even able to celebrate before defending his championship. Well, he should be upset. I mean, here he is. He's the first Heritage Champion, champion in DZW's history. You think he could go out on the town, party with all the bitches, uh, like uh, some black guy who you just saw, and uh, instead he's being forced to wrestle against Devin Storm. 
I mean, well, granted, Devin Storm did, I mean, he had an opportunity to advance to the finals, and Altoran advanced with questionable tactics. Devin questionable Storm tactics. does deserve a rematch, and quite frankly, so does Michael Stone. Yeah, I don't think that's uh, actually true. Who's the champion? Who won? Who beat both of them? Yeah. Okay, okay, that's a, that's a valid point. They, they shouldn't have taken their eyes off the ball. But exactly. The, but the way in, oh my goodness, what a close on. The Every way in which th those matches were won were very questionable. They weren't, it's not like they were you know, the most squeaky clean of okay. victory. Okay, here's, here's the thing, let me put this to you. Here's a cover first. One, two, could he get the win? Nope, only two count. See, here's the thing. If a championship is on the line, if you want to go to the CPP and win the Heritage Championship, are you just going to sit there and wait for your opponent to turn back to face you again? Or are you going to take the opportunity in tag? What are you going to do? I mean, Alex Orion did take the opportunity and it <laughs> landed him into the semifinals and the finals that's of like the Heritage Championship tournament. That's how a champion thinks, that's how a champion acts. And that's why he, he is currently champion. And Michael Stone and Devin Storm are not. And there's a sort of fact. Well, anyway. Like the action. Wait a minute, Alex Orion. Impressive Double. maneuver. Inverted, uh. Suplex? Yes. Is it? Inverted super. In wouldn't it invert super? I don't understand how that's right. Inverted super. super. Yeah, Alex Orion getting cocky. Here we go. Oh, that's a single leg drop kick, another one. See, Storm was trying to get out of the corner there, but he was too slow. Oh, and Alex Orion is going on the attack right now, ladies and gentlemen. I mean... Rings around Devin Storm pick. Alex Orion, a well-conditioned athlete. They don't call him Call Wrestling's Grand National for nothing. He yells from Robbinsdale, Minnesota, the same place where people like Rick Moon and uh, Mr. Perfect spent their days. So there's good genes running around there. Yeah, you know, Robbinsdale is basically, you know, a haven for great wrestlers. And Alex Ryan, I'm not going to deny his ability, although he's won quite questionably his last two matches. I mean, he is a well-conditioned athlete. Very fast for his size. I mean, he, I mean, he has a gift. Six foot three, uh, around 235 pounds, I believe. And he, up until that moment, he was completely dominating this match. Wait, Devin Storm with a wheel kick. Now Devin Storm finds it back, shows a fight in him, and oh wait, there's an elbow. He's, trying, he's coming back now, he's trying to get the fans behind him. If they were smart, they'd be backing Orion. You know. There's a gut buster, and oh wait a minute, what's he gonna do now? Oh, there's a flapjack! Black Jackson Applejacks. Two. Wait a minute, Devin Storm. As I was around it. Oh, there's another Black Jack. Black Jacks for everybody. God damn. Storm should be concentrating and actually, you know, picking up the wins instead of giving the crowd Black Jacks all the time. There's a third Black Jack. Jesus, just calm your tits. So. What a new Jack City. This is Black Jack City. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Oh, there's another elbow. See, Ryan is dazed. Storm has got him on the ropes here. I didn't think I'd be saying that, but, you know, miracles can happen. Oh, wait a minute. Also, Ryan, he looks like he doesn't even know what city he's in. <laughs> he's completely out of it. That's a drop kick. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here live in Albany, Georgia, and Devin Storm going for an elbow no. drop. Well, I have to get a child to fly over here just to be at the show. I hope you're grateful. You know. Two. Anyway, this Albany crowd, Albany, New York, Albany, Georgia, is getting quite... Wait, make up your mind. Georgia's not in New York. I mean, New York's not in Georgia. I mean, elbow. Okay, allow me to explain this. There's an Albany in New York, yeah. and there's an Albany in Georgia. Where is oh. the Albany in Georgia? I mean, yeah, oh, yeah, that's, that's what my thing for this one. It was, okay, if you thought we were Albany New York, how did you get here? Me no good with geography. Yeah, clearly so. <laughs> anyway, regardless of what Albany we're in, Alex Orion looks in control right now. As Storm had that quick flourish a moment ago. Oh, but that's a sick close line. With offense like that, you can't count Orion out for too long. 
No way, that's a German suplex. Now Ryan is in control. This, again, being his first defense of the DCW Heritage Championship. And wait, go for that clover leaf. This looks familiar. It's on, uh, syntax uses it. Uh, there's a clover leaf there of the Texan variety. Texan variety? Texan. Te 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 Texan, okay. Yeah. The storm powering out of it, and wait a minute. Jesus, just dropping the back of his head on his knees. God. They can give somebody a concussion like that. The ref should really tell Storm not to do that again. It's not like Storm's Jack Swagger. Wow. Well, you know, he can still hurt Orion's shoulder. Still can. Well, that definitely hurt Orion there. <laughs> Go for that maneuver. Go for the pin. Look up for your new champion. And no. Orion powering out, showing what kind of champion he is. And I'll wait. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure if that was worth it, but Storm's right back up in the speed. Gotta get invert. Kevin Storm firing the crowd up. Oh wait, Alzheimer's right, right back up. See, this is why you don't take your eye off the ball. You think he would have learnt that by now. But you know, if his IQ is not high enough for that kind of thing, then uh, he's not going to be Heritage Champion by the end of the night, I can assure you of that. What the hell is... Hey, what's Alzheimer's doing? Wait a minute. Oh no, come on now, it's not this way. No, you just supposed to get a close look at his elbows. Well, wait a minute, Devin Storm, knowing what Alex Ryan was going to do, he's about to hit that rolling elbow. Just having quality time with his girl, and here's Storm being a jackass. That roaring elbow. And oh, oh. Devin Storm looks the boys. And Orion, no, don't. Don't turn around, no. Okay, okay, roll out the ring. Roll, roll out the ring. And What's going on? Devin Storm, go to the top bro. Storm. Storm. There's an elbow. I gotta admit, that was an excellently executed move there. Devin Storm has just been in complete control. I mean, Alex Orion getting, retrieving his championship actually might have hurt him. Oh, you know, you know, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, what's going on? Um. Oh, no, not again. Oh, um, wait a minute, what? I, I, I'm scared. Wait a minute, he's going to reveal himself? Venus, who? Alcaron was still down, but Devin Storm missing. Alcaron was playing possum, but no, oh, no, come on, no, no, not this way, no. I, well, they, Ryan picks up the win. Oh, Jen. Got nothing to do with that video there. Devin sure. Storm distracted yet again. Exactly, distracted yet again. True, that was a very creepy promo, and I never want to see it again. But Devin Storm should know better. This has already happened to him once. And he let it happen to him again. You gonna defend him again? I, I don't know, but we still never found out who was behind that video. He said that he was going to reveal himself, but it was never discovered who exactly was behind that video that was just played. Apparently he's Venus and Moxley. I have no idea what that means. Yeah, I, I, sure was, I, sure I, I wish I knew, but... Uh, I don't even know. I bet Storm does it. I, I, would, I bet Storm wish he knew as well, but I just I don't understand what's going on right now. But nonetheless, Alex Orion is still your heritage champion, defending his title successfully for the first time ever. Ladies and well, gentlemen. Wait, wait, wait. What? What's uh, going on? I thought it was going to be a commercial, but he said the lights went out. No, well, I'm, I'm no stranger to lights going on. Hey, hey, is that your hand? No, that is not my hand. Oh, okay. Stop trying to hold my hand. Hey, I'm not trying to hold my hand, okay? Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Oh my god! Who is this? Who is this? Devin Storm is just laid out with the concerto. Who is this? 
I'm speechless. I have no. Oh god. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Whoever he is, he just annihilated Devin Storm. Is this the man who's been sending these messages to Storm all this time? One would assume so, but ladies and gentlemen, I don't even know. He just screwed. I mean, if he's behind the videos, he just screwed Devin Storm out of the Heritage Championship yet again. And on top of that, he just destroyed Devin Storm. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't even know. A lot of questions need to be answered. But I'm being told that we must go to commercial break yet again. And we'll Whatever. be back with our main event. Final commercial break. If Sean Stevens can even make it to this matchup, he will be facing this man in the main event. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to say, Albany, we have a problem. Yes, and that problem is that Kobe Vincent is going to crush Sean Stevens here tonight and prove once and for all why he does not deserve to be facing AJ Young for the DZW Championship. That is your opinion. But it's not opinion, it's a fact proven by Kobe Vincent here tonight. Okay, but say if Sean Stevens manages to beat Kobe Vincent here tonight. Then... Then he will have proven himself a worthy competitor and I'll stop, uh... I'll stop attacking him. No, you That is the promise in writing. No, if Sean Stevens... No, I, I will honestly do that. If Sean Stevens can beat Kobe Vincent tonight, then I will stop attacking. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll take that. I'll, okay, I'll accept that. But, but of course, it's not going to happen. Anyway, Kobe Vincent looks ready and poised, coming off of a big victory against Travis Killings at Awaken. And just the sheer size of this man. You want to talk about BMOs, you want to talk about freaks of nature, you've got one right there. How anyone can just stop him, how anybody can solve the problem, I have no idea. This man is just a massive, massive, massive beast. You want to talk about massive beast, that big boot of his. Anybody has had awakened. Well, you know. Out comes John Stevens, and I'm surprised that he is actually out here. He's out here actually ready to fight. I'm su really surprised, especially after the beating he took earlier tonight at the hands of Brian Carroll and Sean Walsh. This is not a smart idea here by Sean Stevens. He has got a match with AJ Young for the championship. It's something that he may never be able to achieve again in his life. And he's going to come out here to face Kobe Vincent of all people after being attacked earlier tonight. Not smart. Uh, I think that's the smartest idea. Sean Stevens, I mean, facing Kobe Vincent is a Herculean challenge in itself. But facing him, where you just basically got a two-man concerto. Sean Stevens is not 100%. You know, you know, in order to beat Vincent, you need to be 110%. How Stevens thinks he's going to beat the problem here tonight, I have, again, I have no idea, but, you know, he's wearing himself up to go, and here, here we go, the bell's being rung. No, Jesus it's, Christ. It's, oh, look at the size of it, it's a Sean Stevens is going right after Kobe Vincent, trying to use all that he can, knowing that he has to do all he can, oh my god, oh my god, that could be it right there. A normal human, gotta give it to Stevens, a normal human being would not be able to take a punch like that straight to the face. 
Time will tell if you even. Oh god. Oh, oh my god. god. It's, just, it's just brutality. It's brutality already. It's just. It's brutality oh. 2.0. Oh my god. It's coming right in the face. Why is it called this DZW Attitude Episode 11? Brutality. Because we're going to be seeing a massacre here tonight. Again. Well, I mean, we've already seen instances of brutality. There was Bison and Double X. There was the attack by Ryan Carroll and Sean Walsh on Sean Stevens. There was whoever that was giving a one man concerto to Devin Storm. And of course you have. I mean, in this match, we might see a fatality. Of course, you had uh, Brett Fortune sticking his nose where it didn't belong. We were taking out uh, uh, Phoenix and uh, Julius Jones. Well, considering that was a one on two advantage. Brett Fortune is not a normal human being, okay? He's a dangerous man, and even if it's two or three people, it's still a danger when he's attacking you from behind. I believe it was face to face. Well, he, you, you'd uh, stick up for Fortune, wouldn't you? I'm just saying what I saw, and oh my goodness, Sean yeah. Stevens. Cody has just been demolishing Sean Stevens. Sean Stevens came out very quick, trying to give it his own. They yeah, actually not come against it down. But all it took was one right hand. The momentum shifted completely and utterly. It's just... And considering that Tony Vincent has yet to be pinned in Danger Zone Wrestling, I believe uh, the only losses he's had was against Travis Killing, and that was via DQ. And then uh, he lost when he came with AJ Young to take on, I believe, Devin Storm and Travis Killing. But yeah, Tony Vincent has yet to be pinned in BZW. Oh. In that, tag team matchup, in that tag team matchup, it was Travis Kellens who pinned AJ Young, but, and no, I'm actually not surprised. I mean, just, Cody Vincent is dominating a former DZW champion here. And oh my goodness, that Dom Dominating is selling this short. Okay. This one, I wouldn't be surprised if this was it. Surprisingly enough, this isn't it. I mean, Sean Stevens has a lot of fight in him, but how much more can he do? Oh my god! God, we were talking about ragdolling early. That's that's on some next level. Just throwing a human being up into the air, 10, 11, 12 feet up into the air, like, oh, jeez, oh. he did it again. Oh! Oh my god. At least Steven's still up on his feet, though. Surprisingly enough, you know, oh, wait, that might change in a few seconds. Yeah, he's not on his feet. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is just absolutely crazy. And consider the fatigue, the battle wear on Sean Stevens. He's been fighting constantly for, what, what is it, like two months now? He's been fighting constantly. He's dealt with mass attackers. He's dealt with Kobe Vincent. He's dealt with Eddie Roy. Oh, and he's oh. dealt with AJ Young. See, here's the thing. Normally I would say better, because normally I say that a wrestler has to just put up with that kind of thing. I mean, you are in this business for a reason. You have to be tough son of a bitch, but... You know, Steven has been through a lot. I'll, even I have to admit that. And now he has to go up against Vincent? Jeez. Somebody hates him so much. That man is AJ Young. I mean, he wasn't placed in this match by AJ Young considering that uh, when this match was made, AJ Young was already out of power by that time. But I don't think the matchmakers had in mind that, you know, he would be assaulted by those two masked men. I mean, I thought that was over and done with him. Wait, the DDT countering that bear hug. See, Stevens is not out of this. He is taking it to Kobe Vincent now. Ho hopefully for him at least, he can keep this up. Keep Kobe Vincent off his feet. Keep the big man down. Or stun with moves like this. Oh, hopefully. What's Wait a minute. It's a move song. Picture perfect. One. Uh, oh. oh my god. Okay, that takes some strength there. <laughs> Just Kobe kick Vincent off. is not of this earth, ladies and gentlemen. No, no he is not. No. Not at all. Wait a minute. Bam, I, uppercut. Springboard uh, uppercut. I'd like to say that during one of the commercials, actually, I was talking to some guys in the back. I know I'm so I was like, I'll continue in a moment. I was talking to some guys in the back and uh, discussing that little super show. I had no idea anything about that. And the match has already been made. It's going to be Sean Stevens taking on Durga. And if you don't know who Durga is, well, let's just say you will by the end of that match. Oh, wait a minute! Bam, bam! Right to the face! Super kick! Ron, this, this is it! This is it! No! Oh my god! How is Kobe Vincent able to 
understand all of this. And more importantly, how is Jones even able to dish out this much offense after what he's been through? I don't know, but I was sure as hell that we're going to see Kobe Vince's first loss there. By pinfall at least, but he somehow managed to shoulder, get the shoulder up and now... Beautiful moonsault to a standing Kobe Vincent. Okay, you know what? I gotta give Stevens credit here. He is putting on a show. He is telling the world that he is not going to be denied that DCW Championship with performances like this. And now wait a minute! Another moonsault! This has been a moonsault party, ladies and gentlemen. Moonsault party. Moonsaults for everybody. But okay. Especially Kobe Vincent. And now wait a minute. Russian leg sweep. Russian leg sweep there, uh, just trying to ground the bigger man. Fucking hell. Oh, looks like you have a lot of people going on in the background, damn Maddie. Well, you know, somebody decided to vacuum behind us for some reason. Don't know why. Oh, no, anyway, no. despite that, uh, Sean Stevens taking it to Kobe Vincent, and Kobe Vincent is not off his feet after this many strikes. Like, I've I'm, I'm lost count like 8, 9, 10. <laughs> Let's just say enough. <laughs> the fact that Sean Stevens is able to compete right now at this level is astonishing. The fact that Kobe Vincent is able to take this much from Sean Stevens is even more astonishing. You know what? It's a testament to the talent we have, or you have here in DCW. You have men who, even if they've been attacked, even though they've been wrestling non-stop for two months, they can still go at this level. Gotta give props to the company here. And that's how much it pains me to say that. And Sean Stevens fresh off of a tag team match at Awaken in which he got the winning fall, earning himself the DZW Championship matchup. And Kobe Vincent seems down and out, but yeah, Sean Stevens has been fighting constantly. You, you gotta think that AJ Young and Eddie Warrior are not too happy about what they're seeing right now. I'm even happy at all. Wait, oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Not again! There's Sean Walsh in that Baltimore bastard Ryan Carroll! Again, for the second time in the night, they're targeting Sean Stevens. I think the ref rang the bell. Yeah, I mean, it's self-explanatory. You don't even have to ring the bell. This match is over. Disqualification victory for Sean Stevens, but at what cost? Oh, wait a minute. Here comes Travis Killings. The cavalry is here, and these two bastards are running for their lives. Can't say I'm not unhappy to see that. Those two, oh, those two bastards. The Philadelphia piece of trash and that Baltimore piece of trash retreating. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just... Oh, wait a minute, security's oh. coming out and they're taking away Ryan Carroll. Get him out of here. Where's Sean Walsh got to? Sean Walsh, I, I mean, they can only take so many people at one time. Carroll and Walsh, <laughs> they are resilient out there. I think, it, you know, it takes all the security power to, to get them away. Wait a minute, oh, wait a minute, Sean Walsh. He's like, yeah, oh, we... wait a minute. Oh wait, Sean Walsh is in handcuffs! <laughs> I don't think he was expecting that. They're just taking him away like a criminal walk, you know. He's close enough. Dragging Sean Walsh backstage in handcuffs. Good, get them out of here. They don't even deserve to be here. They're not under contract at all. This is the second time tonight that Sean Stevens has been attacked by them. Sean Stevens is Wait a minute! AJ Young, where the hell did he come from? That's why I want to know what you want. BAM! What the? Right to the face with that knee. No, please. He's you know been what? through enough. I think Stevens has been through enough tonight. Jeez. Oh my goodness. AJ Young sending a message loud and clear to Sean Stevens. Ladies and gentlemen, this undeniable main event is going to be so personal between these two men. But we must sign off. Jay, it was great to have you here. Uh, we gotta go. I, I just, I don't understand, ladies and gentlemen. We will see you next week on Attitude. You know, if I can catch the plane, maybe. Too.